Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reacting to Top 10 moments from the Jake Paul vs Mike Tyson fight night on Netflix So we didn't watch the fight a little past our bedtime plus Netflix really was uh, tripping It was past my bedtime, I fell asleep okay? I, I fell asleep watching Netflix Load, load, oh, load. I'm doing my skincare. <laughs> okay, I fell asleep. I did see it, but yeah, I heard it was the most boring fight ever. Really? That's what oh. I heard. But let's see. But I actually saw the girls fight before. That was a pretty good fight. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down oh, our picks for the wildest, most Ooh. memorable. Jake Paul. Yeah. I don't remember him being yeah, this big. They said he gave away. Ooh, well, moments from this highly anticipated Netflix boxing special and the media frenzy surrounding And the Mike Tyson is not little. Oh my gosh. What did that feel like? In white? They said Mike Tyson used to be like 300. He dropped weight. Oh. Do that to you. I don't even feel it. He's angry. He's an angry little elf. <laughs> number 10. Jake's entrance. You know what's going to be number one? Netflix failure. You think so? Uh, Gotta be. Wait, so what happens? Like, it wasn't low. So was the fight going on? Yeah, and it just didn't show. It, it didn't was, show? Yeah, it was So it was when buffering. did it show? So when did it start showing? I don't know. I, I wasn't there. I was oh. sleeping. But it was buffering. Oh. But where did they find that? In Houston. Houston? Houston, Texas. Yeah. Oh. Making the ring first. I remember that happened with Love is Blind. Yeah, when we watched Love is Blind. I was yeah. waiting with my food. I think they even announced that they're not going to start. They, they did it later. Yeah, right? they said they're going to start it later, but I don't think it never, later never came. True to his famously showboating personality, the 27 year old Disney kid. Oh, yeah, he's definitely getting weight. I mean, it's a heavyweight fight, so he can match Mike's, mm. you know, weight, so it makes sense. But he, he definitely big as well. Social media in Chevrolet Lowrider, accompanied by his friends, including his brother Logan. Jake Paul knows wow. he doesn't want to make an entrance. It's a he doesn't I've, I've never seen like an entrance with a car. Okay. Yeah. I see like with a rapper, the star oh, yeah. scene for you. Notably, Paul's entrance was soundtracked by Phil Collins' iconic In the Air Tonight, which Mike Tyson fans will remember from his legendary cameo in the 2009 comedy film The Hangover. Perhaps most extravagantly of all, Jake's outfit was self-described as the, quote, most expensive boxing outfit of all time, wow. reportedly featuring his quote, Spoons, get out. And there's new yeah, I only saw the, the ladies fight, that was a good fight. Quoted as saying, quote, it was a great fight for the fans. When you get two Mexican fighters like us, you're going to get great action guaranteed. And finally, Judge Duncan promises he's the contest. 113 to 113, a draw. This bell has been ruled a sprint draw. Wow. What the fuck? The championship fight that is as a draw? They both look beat up. Who looked the worst to you? I don't know, but that's the one so... who looks the worst is the one who lost, okay? That's so anticlimactic, though. The championship fight as a draw? Yeah. Oh, so I guess the one who held holds it again. Uh, I guess. Number eight Drake that's big and loses bigger. <laughs> oh! Oh no! <laughs> You almost kind of had to feel bad for the Canadian hip hop superstar. The grand rapper, Aubrey Graham in Toronto, has had a rough 2024. Yeah. His new with Kendrick Lamar petered out after the Pulitzer Prize winner released the sleeper hit Not Like Us, at which point Lamar was widely acknowledged as the victor. Hey, Drake, I hate you like I'm young. You better not go to Tyson, Drake once again couldn't catch a break. Posting to Instagram ahead of the match, the six god revealed that he put up $355,000 on a Tyson. Yeah, we just saw yesterday when Drake actually has a gambling addiction though yes it does go. wait wait so he was he put down how much you put yeah, down 355k to for, get this for Mike wow Tyson. that's a good payday no yeah i mean wow, 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 wow. 2.85 yeah i probably have a problem too <laughs> victory with a payout okay. of just over what's this number 2.85 multiplier Oh, I don't for $1 million. Of course, Jake Paul ultimately took the crown, leaving Drake high and dry. <laughs> Number seven, Niraj Boyat versus Winderson Nunes. Little win of Winderson Nunes. He's been training with the likes of UFC light heavyweight champion Alex Perella, one of the great strikers in combat sports in preparation for the fight. 
Oh, and I heard that the announcements were trash too. Why? I don't know, I just saw people say the announcements. The first match on the undercard, Koyat versus Nunez, got things off to a rowdy electric start. Some of you in the Watch Mojo audience may be familiar with Nunez, a popular Brazilian YouTuber who, at one point, held the title of the most subscribed YouTube channel Him? in the country. In fact, as of 2024, Nunez's channel remains in the top 100 most subscribed YouTube channels altogether. Wow! Oh. Oh. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. That's an interesting. So I guess um, Jake Paul is looking his uh, like a nickname. I don't know. You see, like because his name is Goyat, mm -hmm. so he's like Goat, but with Y in the parentheses. That's clever. Mm. Indian pro boxer and mixed martial artist Goyat, who has publicly feuded with Jake Paul and is signed to his most valuable promotions, was ultimately declared the winner by unanimous decision. This was despite facing widespread criticism and backlash for his perceived lack of sportsmanship during. So, what was the moment that was disrespectful? Mm. I don't know, because he was drinking a drink? I mean, maybe he was mm. thirsty now. And Taylor versus Amanda Serrano. Yeah, this was the fight I saw. This was the Katie was headbutting a lot, though. Mm. I remember Amanda Serrano yeah, that's, last time. She's she's always with Jake Paul. That's like his uh, his favorite undercard. Always, yeah. she's always. I think they train at the same gym. The challenger, making her way to the ring. Here it is, Amanda. Yeah, she she got her. She, she got. You know, hey, she's getting money. No, no, not that. She the other girl was headbutting a lot. Her face was all fucked up. In what certainly came as a shock to those who followed the rivalry between Taylor and Serrano, the Irish fighter emerged victorious, but just barely, over her Puerto Rican opponent. The lightweight and super lightweight world champion precariously defended her title and reputation, defeating Serrano 95 to 94. Hey, he said just barely. I don't know if they can show that. They're not gonna show the five, it's just uh, afterwards you see her face. Uh, was scrutinized for quote excessive use of her head, which at one point saw Serrano left with a nasty gash above the right eye. Oh, yeah, look at her face. Yeah, like she has a, a gash here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, her face during the fight, her whole face was covered. Well, not the whole, but the side of the face was covered, but she could barely see. Yeah, yeah the other girl was cheering a little bit. Yeah, she's, you know. But the fight was good, like they were exchanging punches, like they were, it, it, it yeah. Number five, Mike slaps Jake at the weigh-in. Oh, but that's before the fight though, that was the day before. One of the fight's wildest, most viral moments had nothing at all to do with, well, the fight. In what seemed like an example of trash talk taken several steps too far, Tyson was filmed striking ball at Thursday's weigh -in. Tyson looks good the, though. The size difference between the two though. Tyson looks lean. Yeah, he looks good. Jake, he looks big. Yeah, Tyson, because uh, I, I remember they said he was like over 300. He, he looks good. Oh. He looks like solid. Just ahead of the hotly anticipated match. Mike and I ask, the world is excited to see you one last time, perhaps. Can you just tell us the emotions, the thoughts that are going through your mind right now? Yeah, motherfucker, 60 years old. He looks great for his age. Damn. Talking Vova. Why did you, why did you push him there? Alright, that's it. That's it for Mike Tyson. As reported by ESPN from a source close to the legendary boxer, Tice was incensed by Paul's decision to purposefully step on his toes, as he's been open about his struggles with chronic pain caused by... Oh, so Jake stepped on his foot and that's what caused the slap. Oh. Well, then Jake's an asshole for that. Yeah. But then again, I guess... He has chronic what? Chronic foot. Uh, Annika said Tyson to the New York Post, quote, I wanted to think it happened by accident, but now I think it may have happened on purpose. I was in a lot of pain. I had to reciprocate. I don't even feel it. He's angry. He's an angry little elf. Mike Tyson, I thought that was a cute slap, buddy, but tomorrow you're going to knock the f*** out. I'll f*** him up, I'll f*** him up. I don't like he's going to have his foot. Number four, the post-match interview. Jake, congratulations on the victory. Are you surprised that went the distance? Oh, I guess Jake is also holding the drag. I guess it was sponsored by Celsius, so everybody's kind of post-fight. You know, they're doing a little um. promo. First and foremost, Mike Tyson. It's such an honor. Let's give it up for Mike, bro. This is, he's a legend. He's the greatest ever. But can we see Jake fight like an actual active fighter? Because... Until I see him fight like someone who's like with a standing, you know, like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep thinking he's all rigged. Are you gonna put money? No, I'm not mm -hmm. into betting, but like, I, I don't know. He's the goat. I look up to him. I'm his 
card. And 11 wins, one loss, seven knockouts. Who? What wins? These are... Mm. Immediately after Paul was declared the winner by unanimous decision, he was pressed by commentator Ariel Helwani as to whether or not he was surprised by the outcome. In response, Paul showed a sense of class and reverence to Tyson that had largely been absent in their aggressive, heated exchanges. Are you happy with what you did out there tonight? Absolutely happy, yes. Yeah. Are you surprised it went the distance? No, uh, I knew he was a good fight, I knew he was prepared, but um, I came to fight. Declining to answer Helwani's question head on, Paul instead gushed about his opponent's legacy and overwhelming influence in the sport, referring to Tyson as the quote, toughest, baddest man on the planet, and the sense of honor he felt at having the opportunity to take him on in the ring. I didn't prove nothing to anybody, only to myself. I, I'm not one of those guys that wants to please the world. I'm just happy with what I can do. Listen, he made a lot of money, so that's. That's what you care about. I would love to see his before and after, like before he did this fight and after he did this fight. What do you mean? Because you said that he was bigger. Yeah, that's what they said, you know, when I was watching, mm -hmm. like, Undisputed and before Undisputed stopped existing. Yeah, they kept saying that uh, he's shredding for the fight. But they also, this chance also have, like, um, top 10 Mike's most iconic moments. We can mm -hmm. watch it. Number one, of course, is going to be the ear biting. But... Three, Mike seemingly forgets he's being interviewed by a kid. So after such a successful career, what type of legacy would you like to leave behind when it's all said and done? Well, I don't know. I don't believe in the word legacy. I just think that's another word for ego. Legacy doesn't mean nothing. That's just some word everybody grabbed onto. Someone said that word and everyone grabbed on the words and now it's used every five seconds. Veteran boxer and pop culture icon Tyson has never been one to hold back when asked for his opinion. That yeah, I think he's just himself. That bizarre but hilarious interview in which 14-year-old Jaslyn Jazzy Guerra got a characteristically intense response from the athlete. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'm just passing through. I'm going to die and it's going to be over. Who cares about legacy after that? At one point in the exchange, <laughs> Guerra asked Tyson what kind of legacy he'd want to leave after, quote, such a successful career. This got Tyson a little existential. Yeah, he definitely left a legacy, man. He's a legend. Stating not only his disbelief in the idea of a, quote, legacy, but challenging the existence of such a legacy altogether and lamenting, in his opinion, its overuse. To her credit, visibly be. Bewildered, Gara handled the unexpectedly dark answer like a champ. So I'm a guy. I want people to think that I'm this. I'm great. And no, we're nothing. We're just dead. We're dust. We're absolutely nothing. Our legacy is nothing. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing. Enough for the kid to hear such an answer. Yeah. Like, what the we're nothing. He said, and we are not. He made eye contact. And we are not. Yeah, for like. <laughs> Number two, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Oh, I'm retired. I don't have to do this anymore. And then now to be at 60 and doing this again. I think it's a money grab for him. I mm -hmm. think, you know, he saw an opportunity. He made a lot of... I don't know exactly. I don't want to say it now. Because yeah. I don't remember right now. I saw something along the lines. Like, he made just under a million per landed punch. Something like that. And I think he landed 18 punches. So do the math. But I don't know. You know, I, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And it was kind of disappointing. The matchup had been teased since November 2023 when Netflix tentatively announced that it would stream on a call. What can Netflix do to make sure they can start on time with the streaming? Okay. But how did they were able to fix it in the first place? I, I don't know. I was sleeping. I don't know. As they said, I don't know if they fixed it. I don't know if people were able to see it. I don't know. Which was scheduled for July 20th at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. But you said they do pay-per-view. Yes, that's what's... I don't. I wonder how they made money because Netflix just wasn't pay per view. But I, I thought it would be like you have to pay extra on Netflix for. But it was available to everybody. That was mm -hmm. interesting. It's an incredible feat for a 58 year old man to get in shape like he has done, and to set the marine once again. Yeah, I think the most impressive thing about this is Mike Tyson's shape. He really got in shape for this. I think mm. that, that's really cool. Incredible and unbelievable. All I can say. I'm used to seeing him like this. I don't know what he looked like before. Honestly, he was he was retired. Like you know, oh. retired. This is like he's he's in solid shape for a 58 year old. He's definitely solid. Also, flare up led Tyson to reschedule the fight to November 15, 2024. However, the fight itself was criticized by fans and commentators alike for its perceived slow pace and lack of excitement, attributed at least partially to Tyson's advanced age. Most importantly, yeah, there was a lot of speculation that it's rigged. It's this. It's that. You know, I don't know. You know, but. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. This no. is a big age difference. I don't think mm. it's a fair fight. Punches in this area not to be considered legal. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel or all of. After eight full rounds, 
But if I was Drake, with Drake money, I would have put it on Jake. I know. I would. I would have bet Tyson as well. You think I, so? I thought Tyson would win. Yeah, I kind of. You think so? I did. I did. So old. Doesn't matter. The skills don't go away. I think I don't know. that's why I'm. I believe I don't it know. was rigged. I feel like Mike would have knocked Jake out. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I just. I it really it. depends. If it's not rigged, then I, okay. I don't know who can win. But if considering it's, it's a Jake Paul fight, you go for Jake Paul because yeah, it's a Jake it's Paul. Just a Jake Paul fight. I have he yet, has right. 11 one. I have yet to see him lose. You're right. I have yet to see him lose. Yeah. Honestly, the <laughs> one that he lost, I didn't watch it. Yeah, so that's what I have yet to see him lose. Bro. With my two eyes, I only seen him win. But you have four. By two scores of 79 to 73, and according to The Guardian, quote, a shutout 80 to 72. According to that publication's Donald McRae, the match was intended to lend Paul some credibility in the boxing world. McRae disputed the success of that effort, citing Tyson's aforementioned age, as well as his. Oh, history yeah, they, they were saying that Tyson was like, he wasn't attacking at all, he was like biting his glove. They what said, does that mean? I don't know, but maybe, you know, trying to hold back, not maybe there was like an agreement that, you know, allegedly. That not he doesn't. So he biting his hand. Biting his glove, yeah. What does I, that I don't mean? know. People saying the consensus is that Jake should have won, you know, based on what happened. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not saying it's rigged in that sense that mm -hmm. Mike outperformed. It's just I guess people are very shocked in Mike's performance, so they're saying that he had to hold back. But others mm -hmm. are saying no, he's just old, you know. So I don't, I don't know. I didn't watch the fight. I, I'm not mm -hmm. 58 year old either. I don't know what you know. What can you do at that age? Mm -hmm. So it, it's hard to say, but. I, I did see here very disappointing fight by a lot of people. Wow. Can I see the comments, baby? Uh, sure. I don't know. The comments are not going. Oh. Hmm. I guess not. Guys, of course, let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord. And as always, as always, share as much kindness as possible.